Hello, children. My name is Dan Shadinsky. I am the curator of the Mazza Museum, and I'm here to share a very special book with you by my friend, Lita Judge, called How Big Were the Dinosaurs? When we think of dinosaurs, we think of huge monsters. But how big were dinosaurs really? Stalking, running, stomping, crushing. Microraptor was a deadly hunter, but he would barely be able to look a modern-day chicken in the eye. The truth is, dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes. Protoceratops had very large skulls and heavy beaks for ripping tough plants. They were strong and built for defense, but no bigger than a baby rhinoceros. And honestly, with a name like Lanellinosaura, you'd think these dinosaurs were tree-eating giants. But they stood only two feet tall. They lived through the cold, dark winters near the South Pole, where emperor penguins live today. Even Velociraptor, a dinosaur that fills our imagination with its flesh-ripping claws and powerful jaws, was only the size of a dog. Struthiomimus were the perfect size for going to the races. With slender legs and long tails, they were built like a very light horse and ran just as fast, up to 35 miles an hour. Ankylosaurus was a little taller than an SUV, but weighed four times as much. Built to withstand attack, they were covered in armor. Armor plates and sharp spikes, and they had a great bony club for a tail. Imagine being stuck in a traffic jam with a cranky Ankylosaurus. Stegosaurus weighed as much as three cows, but with bony plates on his back, that could be up to three foot long, he looked much bigger. Bigger isn't always smarter. This giant plant eater only had a brain the size of a walnut. Like a giant unicorn, Cintosaurus had a strange spike growing out of its skull. We don't know what this spike was used for, but with a dinosaur-sized appetite and hundreds of teeth, he could have gobbled your garden in a few quick bites. Taurosaurus had a 10-foot skull and horns that grew as tall as a first grader. You wouldn't want to make this dinosaur do something he didn't want to do. Therizinosaurus had claws that grew up to 36 inches, longer than a man's arm. But don't worry, these plant eaters most likely use their claws to strip bark off trees and pull down branches. Tyrannosaurus rex had a skull nearly as long as a man is tall. He had strong jaw muscles that could crunch down with 10 times the force of an alligator bite. Imagine cleaning the nine inch long teeth of this fearsome meat eater. But even the fierce Tyrannosaurus Rex was no match for the biggest, most enormous, colossal giant of them all. Argentinosaurus. As long as four school buses, this dinosaur was probably the biggest animal ever to walk on land. A full-grown adult weighed more than a herd of 17 elephants. An Argentinosaurus was an incredible 45,000 times bigger than Microraptor. But the largest dinosaur was only dangerous if you were a tree. Argentinosaurus must have eaten them by the ton. 
Dinosaurs really did come in every size, as small as birds or bigger than herds, and everything in between. How do we know how big dinosaurs were? We can see how big dinosaurs were by looking at fossils of their bones. Sometimes when a dinosaur died, its body was buried quickly by sand or mud. Over millions of years, the mud and sand turned to solid rock. At the same time, water seeped in through the mud, carrying minerals that slowly replaced the bone with rock and made a fossil. Scientists uncover fossils in the ground. If they find enough fossils, they can put an entire dinosaur skeleton together. Then they work with artists to draw pictures and make models that show what the dinosaur might have looked like. If you can see how large a dinosaur skeleton is, you can imagine how this dinosaur compares to animals alive today. For example, Velociraptor had a lightweight body and probably weighed 15 to 33 pounds. That means it stood as tall and weighed as much as a medium-sized dog. But it had a much longer tail. The dinosaurs in this book are just a tiny portion of all the different species that once lived, but they show their wonderful variety and amazing extremes. Microraptor and Argentinosaurus didn't live at the same time or in the same place, but it is interesting to compare these ideas, these dinosaurs, to get an idea of their range and size. The end.